Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Voice Dad. My name is Vicky Pinko, and today we're going to be drawing the life cycle of a plastic water bottle. This is its story. Before it was plastic, it was oil, and it had to be extracted from deep underground. And now, it's getting harder and harder to extract the oil. After the oil is extracted, it is pumped into barrels. Each year, enough fuel and energy gets used in water bottle production in the U.S that could have fueled a million cars. After that, the oil is shipped, refined, and processed into tiny pellets. The pellets are then shipped yet again to a different factory where they are melted down and made into water bottles. But bottles aren't the only thing being made here. Demand is also being manufactured, with companies telling us things like, bottled water is the only safe form of water to drink. From here, the bottles are shipped yet again to a different plant, so they have finally filled with water. And now it's time for the bottles to be labeled. While some companies use images of cold mountain springs, other companies, like Kisani, are sourced from the same water flowing through your taps at home. Next, the bottles are packaged and shipped to a store near you. It is then bought by consumers at a cheap price and drank in only a matter of minutes. But now the bottle is empty, so where does it go from here? Unfortunately, about 70% of all plastic water bottles end up getting chucked in the landfill, or even worse, ending up in the ocean. Only about 30% of all plastic water bottles make it to your recycling program, being made into things like sweaters. This is not true recycling, rather it is downcycling, where the new product does not have the same purposes as the original product. There are things you can do to help. You can reduce your need to buy plastic water bottles by always bringing a reusable water can and filling it up with tap water. And both plastic and refillable water bottles can be reused multiple times by filling them up with tap water. Finally, if you ever have to buy a plastic water bottle, and after you've reused it as many times as you can, make sure to always recycle it. Thanks for watching this episode of Waste Ed. Make sure you comment below, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. See you later!